I say this about all metaverses and as someone that owns land in multiple metaverse platforms is a big proponent of platforms like crypto voxels, sandbox, decentraland, isotile, nifty island, moniverse. I play with them all. Mm. We do monthly metaverse events. Lad City is a partner on that. I still am, am skeptical of the ability of any metaverse provider to keep people in these environments for longer than an hour or two. Like we have to pull out every bag of tricks for every metaverse party mm. to keep people engaged. We're speculating on digital land worth, you know, tens of thousands of dollars in the case of, um, of Yuga Labs, other side, uh, same goes for in the sandbox. Uh, I know crypto voxels and Decentraland have a slightly lower price point, but here we are trading digital land in a, a post scarcity digital environment. Like none of this land needs to cost any money. Like these could be membership based platforms that have interoperability with our NFTs that allow us to display our collections that allow us to have metaverse parties. Meanwhile, you've got brands like, like Yuga, like the sandbox that are taking tons of VC money that have outside funding, but then are also selling a product, which is metaverse land. Um, and we don't know if anyone's even going to want to use these things for extended periods. Like, I think most people's experience in Web3 with the metaverse, and myself was standing, I spent a lot of time in metaverse environments, but most people, they drop in for five minutes, they check out their friend's gallery, they do a walkabout, see some of the big brand activations, and they're in and out. No one's hanging out in these spaces yet. I hope, I hope someone figures out the killer app.